Today, we're going to talk about basic operation of the Greensy autonomous mowing software on a robotic ready mower. There are two steps to engage autonomous mowing, map and mow. Step one is to map an area for the robotic worker to take over and finish. This is done via mowing manually the outer boundary. We refer to this as mapping or drawing the boundary. To map, simply press map button on the mower. Next, simply mow the outer perimeter or boundary. You can pause to pick up trash or move debris. Your goal is to map out a large area or section for the robotic worker to mow efficiently inside of. Once you're back to the starting point, it's time for step two, engaging the autonomous mowing. Turn off the blades, switch the mower to autonomous operation on the mower control panel, push the throttle to 100%, move 10 feet away, and press and hold the mow button on the remote control. That's it. The mower will turn on the blades, navigate safely and efficiently to stripe the mapped area, and then return to the starting point once it's done. Once the mower's mowing, you can complete other activities, mowing with another mower, edging, blowing, doing detailed work, talking to customers, or eating lunch. At all times, you can use the e-stop to pause or stop operation. It will avoid any obstacles, and if anything gets too close, the mower will stop, blades will cut off, and it will alert the operator via vibration on the safety remote control. Now here are some tips for mapping. The most productive flow for crews using Greensy is to start autonomous map mow first, then do manual detail work second. If your robotic worker is mowing a large area and you're finished with detail work, you could always team up with Greensy and mow the remaining area of the map. Map out sections for your robotic worker in large flat areas, the repetitive stuff you'd give a robotic worker to do. For now, for safety and efficiency, do not put your boundary map near fences, houses, sidewalks, or other obstacles. While the mower will turn and stay inside the boundary, this will prevent any pauses, stops, or even slowness at sensitivity towards these obstacles. Do not put your boundary on slopes. If there are slopes or hills in the middle, that's generally okay, but the robotic worker has to pause or stop on a hill, it can slip or rut the grass. We're improving the software and capabilities constantly, but for now, stay away from slopes for autonomous mowing usage. This concludes basic autonomous mapping and mowing with Greensy. It helps you be more efficient and get more done. The two steps are mapping and mowing.